Hello everyone and happy Wednesday. So look who I'm changing today. I'm changing Ocean and Oceanique Ashby and she is the Ashby Skull by Claire Taylor Dolls. I just remember that I need to change her pampas so I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so again, this is Ocean and she is the Ashby Sculpt by Claire Taylor Dolls. She is a partial silicone baby girl. So her head, arms and legs is silicone and also her belly plate and she is on a cloth body. So I'm going to change her out of this pampas and as you can see, <laughs> she is wearing her belly plate and when I remove the belly plate you can see that she has a cloth body. Yeah, but the belly plate is so flexible that you don't even notice it when it's on. Okay, so she's going to wear a fresh clean Huggies Pampas in size 1. She can also wear a newborn size, but I find that whenever she's wearing the belly plate, it's best to put her in a size up in the Pampas. Yeah, because I find like the newborn size tends to start tearing on the side, like the little um, stickers. Yeah. And she is sliding down. Ocean, you're sliding down. Okay. So guys, please excuse the noise. Hubby's on the outside doing some work. He's working on this addition that he's been um, working on for, I don't remember how long, maybe um, two years, maybe three years. Okay, so Ocean, you're still sliding. All right, so actually she is participating in both theme Thursday and onesie Wednesday or should I reverse that because Wednesday comes before Thursday so today is Wednesday so this is a late onesie Wednesday and tomorrow is Thursday so the theme for Thursday is the color white or unit unicorns yes and guys I know there are going to be tons of great videos of unicorns the theme unicorns yeah I know that definitely so let me show you what she's going to wear yeah unicorns seems to be a great hit <laughs> for theme Thursday and also elephants like last week was elephants and I had seen tons and tons of really great videos that represent elephants. Yeah, even for boys. You know, one time ago you didn't find very much boy outfits with elephants. But today you do. Alright, so uh, Ocean is going to wear this onesie. It's a white onesie that is for theme Thursday. It's okay to have, it doesn't have to be like plain white it doesn't have to be but it I think the idea is majority of the color of the onesie should be white boy hubby is really working yeah so okay so the onesie is white and the trim around the neckline is pink has a pink bow at the neckline and it says love my mom and it has a kangaroo 
and a baby kangaroo. So it has the mummy and the baby kangaroo. And they're both girls because the inside of the air is pink. Has like pink uh, blushing <laughs> and also the baby has pink ears and pink blushing. Holding a pink flower. Yeah. So this is in the newborn size. And Ocean wears newborn. She does. I'm looking for my scissors. I had it a minute ago. Uh, anyway, I'll just rip it off. And then look for the sticky plastic thingy on the inside. There it is. Yeah, because, you know, I really don't want anything to be pinch in ocean all right so I hope everyone is having a great day and it's just amazing how we all say we hope everyone is having a great day do we know why we say that yeah for two reasons I think yes we're hoping everyone have a great day and for two it gives us something else to think about <laughs> seriously yeah um all right so here's a question that i want to ask all those silicone moms out there i have this question how what do you use to take the dust off of your silicone babies what do you use that's my question Or maybe we should ask our artist. I don't know. Um, I don't remember in the care sheet if the artist had mentioned anything about what to use. Like whenever the baby gets dusty. I know like with the eyes, you can clean the eyes with a Q-tip. Just spray some water on the Q-tip and you can wipe the eyes. And I, of course, I do do that. But with the silicone, I'm wondering, like, you know, when the babies are just sitting and they collect dust, what do you use to take the dust off? Do you use a, a brush? Like, um, I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay, so do you use a brush? Now, this is a brush that I had purchased for Denali years ago. What, two years ago? Yeah, of course I've never used it. I never had a reason to um, powder. The powder or Denali or even the powder, this little one. But when i notice there's dust like like you know like on the face and on the hands on the legs like what do you use and i've tried like brushing and i don't really like notice i mean is it safe to try the brush but i don't really notice like um the brush is doing such a good job that's my question. What do you mummies use? Or, yeah, what do you use? All right, and to accessorize this onesie. She's going to wear pink ruffle socks. Pink ruffle. Yeah, so please, anyone who have uh, silicone babies and your babies are sitting around and collecting some dust, that happens. That's normal. Please tell me what do you use to take the dust off?
Now, Ocean has a long feet. But this socks fit, actually. See? From heel. Yeah, from heel to toe, the socks fits. All right, so now I'm going to brush her hair. I also want to try her on one of the pacifiers that I have. Oh, I had mentioned to Miss Earl that this sculpt their mouth, Ashby mouth, is small. I'm going to try her in a pacifier that's a bigger size, 6 to 18 months. And I'm going to use this, uh, uh, what do we call it, liquid gel. It's not gel. It's water-based liquid. And it's a different name brand. It's Astroglide. It's not a KY jelly, but it's the same idea because it's water-based, personal lubricant. So it's the same idea. So I want to try her in one of those, one of these new pacifiers that I had for Denali. And the size is 6 to 18 months. Yeah, I want to try that. Boy, that looks pretty big, but I'll try it. Okay. Come here, big girl. Let me brush your hair. Yeah, so Ashby is rooted with mohair. I don't know what where Rachel purchased her hair, but her hair is beautiful. And her artist is Miss Rachel from I think her new name is because she changed her name. I think the new name is what's her new name now? Uh Oh my goodness, I was looking at the card. I was looking at the card. Mm. Boot something. Shells, boot. Oh my. I don't remember. I don't remember. All right, everyone. So there's Ocean, all dressed for theme Thursday. And the color is white okay so let me go ahead now and try her in this pacifier all right so this is the pacifier and or should I do the other one the darker pink let me do the, the darker pink this one and I'm going to add now, Ocean looks like she have a little something on her, a little fag on her lip. Okay. So, I'm going to add the gel, and this is water-based liquid. It's not the gel, it's the liquid. I wipe my finger on the pampas. All right, now let me see if this fits Ocean. Okay, it goes in. It does, but I can tell you guys, um, I'm not going to keep it in there long. After she has taken some pictures, I'm going to take it out. I'm just looking to see how it fits the face. Yeah, I think it fits. 
I think so. All right, everyone. So that is Oceanic Ashby, dressed for theme Thursday. And I'm loving the fit of the pacifier, actually. See there? Now I can tell you guys, if, if I'm purchasing pacifiers for Ocean, I would prefer zero to three months or six months. Let me see, come here, take it out. Okay, not bad, It you know, it's not bad because of the liquid. Yeah, see it slides right on in because of the liquid. I think it's a good fit too. All right, everyone. So that is it. So Miss Earl, if you're watching this, I mean, if you can find a nook in six months, zero to three, then definitely, but uh, she can get away with a six to 18 months. Only because you're using that gel, I think. When you're not using the gel, then it's difficult to get in. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching and you have a super great day. Bye-bye.